Hello everyone, I'm Al and today I'm going to show you how to get creative mode for Starbound. Now for those that don't know, creative mode is a mode where you can do whatever you want. Everything is unlocked, unlimited pixels, infinite health, you can't die, unlimited fuel, and as the title says, you can be as creative as you want. Because you don't have to go around playing the game to unlock anything, you start off with essentially everything. You can build what you want and do exactly what you want. Now unfortunately, creative mode isn't in the game just yet, but there is an amazing mod that you can download unlock that. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in a few simple steps. The first thing you want to do is open your browser and go to nexusmods.com. Now I'll put a link directly in the description to the mod for you. As you can see there it's creative mode and it's a download there. But to download it you do need to register. So let's quickly show you how to do that shall we? Up top here you'll see not logged in. Simply click that and create an account. Now you can see an awful lot of details here. You don't really need to worry about that, you're not going to do anything bad I hope, but we simply click register and go from there. Now as you can see here is a big huge list of payment options and you're kind of wondering why do I need this to get a mod? Well you actually don't, you don't have to select any of these whatsoever, you don't need to be a member in the money sense, you don't have to select any, don't select any, don't click any option, just click create account. Now once here, same as creating an account for any other forum or website. Simply get your username, email and password and type in the CAPTCHA. Now those can be a bit annoying so hopefully you get this right. Afterwards, you simply create your account, activate it through your little email and you're ready to download. Alright, so after you've created and activated your account, you will be logged in and you'll notice yourself in the little corner here. Now after that, you simply want to click download manual or the normal one and it'll bring up a list of servers for you. As you can see, there's quite a selection here. So you simply pick whatever is best for you and your area and you can start your download. As you can see it's just preparing to download your file. Now that could take anywhere from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes but then it should start downloading without any issues for you. As you can see here it's just started downloading and we'll just wait a few seconds for that. It's only about 7 megs but it is compressed so I hope you unarchive it. Now since you're on a Mac most likely you want to use unarchiver. You can download that simply from the Mac App Store, but for Windows you can use WinRAR. The process works for both. Afterwards, you simply click it once, and it'll extract the file for you. Now this could take anywhere from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes depending on your system speed, so just be patient there for a second. Okay, so we've now extracted a creative mode mod, let's open the folder, shall we? Now once you open it, you'll notice two parts. The creative mode folder itself, which is the mod, and a readme. Do read the readme, open it, and just go through it, you'll see basic instructions depending on if you've used it before or if you're brand new. As you can see step 1 is remove any cheat armor, cheat equipment or creative mode folders that you've already installed. The old versions and new ones are not compatible and they will crash your game. It also gives you the step by step instructions on where to actually put it. It's the exact same for Windows and Mac, just the process of getting there is different. As usual you need to go to your Steam apps common Starbound folder. Now on Mac it's pretty simple as always. We want to go to the library file and access it there. So open your folder window. Remember holding alt or options. Click go. If you don't hold an alt or option, library will disappear. So hold it in. Click library. Then application support. Steam. Steam apps. Common games. And starbound. Now in here you'll see a little folder called mods. That is where you want to put the creative mode folder. Now it's pretty simple. As you can see I already have it there. So, all you have to do is take that and copy the entire folder over. You don't want to open it and put just parts in, you want the entire thing. That's what you need to get it to work. Now, as you can see on step 3, start up the game and smelt a wooden platform in a furnace to unlock the ultimate box. Now the ultimate box is what will unlock everything for you. Now fortunately, I've already done that and let's show you how it's done. We'll click the open starbound here and load in shall we? <laughs> Okay, so we're just in here and you can see I'm kind of on a weird tentacle planet. But let's open it here and let's go to this character called Preston. Now as you can see it's a brand new character, I don't have anything except the starter items. But if you open your game and press C to create and scroll down you will see the ultimate box. An ultimate box for ultimate purposes. So it'll cost you one pixel to make. Let's craft that. 
and you can see I've got it equipped here number seven we'll select that and put it down now once you open it with E you'll have an ultimate collection there's weapon and armor box where you can make anything as you can see there warning this unlocks a lot of vanilla recipes too you can unlock all the tech using the all tech unlocker a spawning box for creating new items and you can unlock every single sector right from the go there's even a nice little thing to make 1000 pixels by just using one you can duplicate items and you can unlock all the recipes for different tiers including invincibility helmet overpowered gun which will kill anything called pew pew the best fuel in the game a cube of meat which will always keep you full create a flight blueprint where you can make your own schematic to fly around with ultimate chest where you can always store things and the ultimate chest piece where you are invincible now with this mod you can do whatever you want to be invincible and you can have unlimited resources and items so i hope you found that useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more how-to videos and gameplay footage of starbound and other games i'm al thanks for watching and bye bye